All right, good Saturday evening, everybody. Just half past the hour and looking at some quiet conditions into the Mid-South area for, once again, a very nice night out there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Things are pretty quiet for the time being. We're just not seeing too much of anything else uh, in the way of major amounts of problems coming our way for tonight. If we get into the next couple of days toward next weekend and things continue to hold relatively steady, we might see the potential of some maybe some showers coming our direction, but we just don't see too much of anything out there in the way of decent amounts of rainfall heading our way for any time soon. We'd love to be able to get some more rainfall in here because in the course of the next several days, if we don't get enough rain, we're going to be looking at the possibility of more wildfires heading our way uh, out into around Arkansas. Nothing like what they have seen out west, but there is always that possibility that we could wind up with a little bit more in the way of problems out there when it comes to anything uh, involving rain. Rainfall for Righteous. Welcome to the show on Periscope. B Ramsey 86. Thanks for joining us as well on Periscope for tonight. Uh, looking again into the rest of the evening, not really too much to worry about as of right now. I'm going to continue again to monitor for anything else that might be changing on that front, so stick around uh, for more on that. If you're just joining us on Facebook, welcome to the show. We are live on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook right now, and glad to have you along. Uh, if you're watching in again for tonight, please drop your location and your weather reports if you have them into the comments section. We'd love to know where you are in the Mid-South especially and or if you are anything, uh, if you have anything in the way of weather reports going on, let's do some citizen science together so we can tell a little bit more about what's happening. Quick check of what's going on, especially if you're watching on Periscope and Twitter. If you're looking down in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, that's my GoPro uh, link to my iPad so you can look out into the studio and see what's going on. Email address is right there in the blue bar in that phone thing over there, austin.onic at wrg Com. And, of course, we've got tons of other weather information as well around here, so stay tuned for more as we go through on that. Burt Bishop, 32 degrees, and my clamp is covering it over and falling in Bolivar. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate the weather report from Bolivar for this evening. If you're heading out the door pretty soon and won't be back until late tonight, early tomorrow morning, take the jacket and the coat along because you're going to need it by early tomorrow morning, upper 20s. Should be staying with plenty of sunshine into tomorrow as we get into around the area of the early afternoon. We could be seeing again the potential of some clouds here and there, but really just not that much. And into the rest of the day tomorrow, temperatures should be topping around about the lower 50s or so for the metro area especially. Some areas of the Mid-South will probably stay in the mid to upper 40s, but mainly looking at lower 50s out there into the rest of the evening. Uh, no earthquakes to report. Yes, technically this is nothing to do with weather, but it is science and we do live very close to the New Madrid fault line, so we like to keep an eye on this. Last one that we got about a week or so ago, this last Tuesday morning, there was one up around the Blytheville area, about 2.3 magnitude early on Tuesday morning at about 1.15 in the morning. So we did see at least one earthquake out that direction. So we do have, again, the uh, couple of earthquakes out there. Sissy Samuels, welcome to the show. I hope the goats are doing well. Nathan Stroop, 25 degrees, 93% humidity in Dumas, Mississippi. Very cool. Thanks a lot for uh, stopping on by, and thanks for the weather report as well. Taking a look around the Mid-South where it comes to, again, some of our cameras out there from the Weatherbug Network. We've got, again, a nice view of downtown Memphis way out there on the horizon from the Mid-Continent Building in and around West Memphis, Arkansas, but otherwise looking again at some fairly clear conditions out across much of the Mid-South for this evening. The Ole Miss campus is a lot quieter for tonight, and Vaught Hemingway Stadium lit up quite nicely for tonight in all red from what it looks like from here, and a lot more parking spaces down to just between the north of the Union and around Cross be Hall. Hope everybody got through finals all right with no problem. And if you're heading down to around southern parts of Mississippi, most of that snow should be almost gone. But if you are going to, again, be traveling, please keep an eye on that. Weather on the East Coast has been the main problem for right now. Weather on the West Coast, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Germantown this evening, looking back toward Poplar and Mendenhall, no problems. Water tower camera from just north of Germantown High School in Germantown, Tennessee, looking at mid to upper 30s right now. Kind of hazy, 
mostly clear, pretty dry out there for this evening. Traffic at I-40 and Sycamore View moving along pretty nicely at this time and also right back up along the flyover. Camera's a little wibbly wobbly. There's still just a little bit of a breeze out there for tonight, so we're not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of winds. And those should be calming down uh, into later on tonight. Sissy Samuels, thank God for no earthquake. Yep, nothing showing up at this point in time, but we will continue to monitor that, so stick around for more there. If you are traveling, we have nothing to report in the way of delays at Memphis International catching a red eye later on tonight. Green icon indicates delays of 15 minutes or less. Basically nothing to report from the Federal Aviation Administration. But we are keeping an eye on a couple of places. First of all, Newark, a little bit of snow showers and the human volume out there. The amount of people traveling kind of slows some things down from time to time, as do delays at other airports. So Newark, a pretty major airport, is getting some delays tonight. FAA is continuing to warn people about travel to Los Angeles or in and around San Diego. The Santa Ana winds roaring down those slopes, 70, 80 miles per hour, and the fires out there, a lot of which are completely uncontained at this time to where they're having hundreds of thousands of people having to evacuate. It's a big mess out that direction with no severe weather specifically, but a lot of problems with uh, embers starting fires, new fires out there, and of course the possibility of smoke obscuring some of the runways depending on conditions. So travel to LA, that could be a bit of a problem there, but we'll keep our eyes on that. If you'd like to see this information on your computer, Here's where you go to, fly.faa.gov. Great website to go to to get more information direct from the Federal Aviation Administration. Storm Tracker 3S radar is showing little, if anything, out there. It looks like even the bird flocks have settled on down, although there might be a little bit of activity between the river and Covington, Tennessee. A few larger echoes showing up here. Flocks of birds easily detectable with Storm Tracker 3S technology. Rest of the evening should be seeing the winds die down. Still a bit of a breeze out there. Not much, but no noticeable if you're heading outdoors, especially with temperatures like this. Lower to mid 30s out there, add a bit of a breeze, and you've got wind chills easily down into the mid to upper 20s. So that could be, again, just a little bit of a concern out there for this evening. Tony Henry, 23 on Periscope, thank you very much. And Ayunda Datib 8, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks for joining us on Periscope for tonight, as well as everybody on Facebook for right now. Again, running the numbers into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. We're not going to be seeing a lot of heat, but we will see some warmer conditions. So by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, upper 40s to lower 50s. So that's not doing too bad. Again, we're still a bit below normal for this time of the year. Now going toward the late night hours, News Channel 3 at 10 and into early tomorrow, on, early on Monday morning by the time Todd Demers is back with daybreak on Monday, getting back from vacation. We'll be looking at temperatures back in the lower to mid 30s, not quite as chilly as it has been because of those southerly breezes coming up and keeping the temperatures up by just a bit. And that continues as well into the 7 to 10 day forecast We've got numbers again tomorrow back in the lower 50s, not bad, again a little bit below normal, lower 60s as we head toward around Monday, and then on Tuesday new cold front rolls on through, so that's going to take our temperatures down by about 15 degrees. Still too dry for anything with the way of rainfall coming up. Lower 50s throughout the rest of the week. New cold front comes in, a little bit more moisture Saturday into Sunday. And this is where we may again see the potential of some showers out there. That's the best possibility of showers that we see across the Mid-South for the course of the next couple of days. Dionda Datib 8, welcome to the show. Holla back at you. Thank you very much uh, for checking in on Facebook for tonight. Another cold front after that. We'll get back in the lower 60s by about next Monday and then back in the 40s again. So we've got a series of fronts about ready to move on through, one after the other, relatively weak, not a huge amount of any moisture out out there. So Saturday and Sunday, that's about as good as it gets. We're just not picking up anything in the way of heavy amounts of moisture anytime soon. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there. And if you've got pictures, we'll show you where to send them in just a little bit. So if you have pictures from here in the Mid-South or points beyond, please pass them along. We'd love to be able to see them in and around out there. Thanking Lisa Cromwell, one of her daughter's homes in Madison. I'm assuming that's Madison, Alabama, not Madison, Mississippi as we got some more snow showers taking place there and also some pretty good snow coming down early Friday morning. Christopher Smith just north of Canton, Missouri 4 o'clock in the morning on I-55 managing to catch that kind of hyperspace effect with the headlights and the snow blowing on down as he made his way back north again 
happy ending to the story. He made it back safely uh, out of that snow field out there. So again, great opportunity for him to snap a picture there into the area for this evening, or for Friday morning, I guess I should say. Rest of the day, again, we're seeing uh, again a little bit more in the way of sunset pictures, a little bit less in the way of snowfall up this direction. Anyway, Naomi P80 underscore Naomi. Thank you very much for a nice sunrise view this morning and a sunset view from Friday night. So thank you for a nice double shot of pictures there. Savcap123, beautiful view of sunset on Friday evening with just a few clouds drifting on through the area. So a beautiful view uh, into around the area there. And our own Nina Harrelson, co-anchor on Daybreak with me on Daybreak Saturdays and Sundays. She was out just around the Metal Museum where the bend in the Mississippi River happens, and she got a very nice sunset picture from Friday night walking along the banks of the Mississippi River. So thank you very much, Nina, for a great view there. Rest of the forecast, again, and anything else going on, we try to post those on social media as much as possible. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to show them, but we can't show them if you don't send them. You kind of get the problem idea we're dealing with here. So if you got anything you'd like to have featured on News Channel 3 when it comes to weather pictures in the Mid-South or points beyond, wherever you are, please forward them to me, Aonic underscore WREG3. Next un Endure 2, welcome to the show on Periscope. Thank you very much. On Instagram, Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3. And, of course, if you're watching on my Facebook page, you can drop them there as well. Again, whatever you've got out there, we'd love to see them. But, if, again, if we don't, we're not able to show them if you can't send them. So please make certain you send those along. If you can't catch our forecast on TV or on the computer because you're out and about doing things, tune us in on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. My forecast will be on throughout the rest of the weekend, and so you can keep up to date with what's going on with weather in and around the Mid-South, and of course on all these other social media networks as well throughout the course of the rest of the weekend. That'll wrap it up for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We've again got some pretty quiet conditions for now. We'll have a complete update of your forecast, and that'll be coming up again on News Channel 3 at 10. Kristen Harrelson has a complete update of your news. Mike Sadie has a busy day in sports, including wrap-up as to what went on with the Grizzlies, and also we'll take a look and see what's going on with your forecast into the rest of the weekend. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online. And thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.